How's it going everyone? It's James Rise gonna bring you special ladies and gentlemen a new video today and today we are going to talk about the three pillars of true change. Not just any change, but true change. Let's go. I think the building block to all this, the first step you need to do is mind state. Your mind has to be right. Your mind has to be ready for change. Physically and mentally ready for change. This is what I've learned over the past five, six years of personal training and owning a gym. If someone comes to you and they're like, James, how do I lose weight? How do I build muscle? And you tell them this, that, and this again. You continue to tell them over the weeks, months, however long it takes. If they don't want to apply what you're telling them, obviously it's not gonna work. But a lot of the times is that they're not ready mentally their mind state isn't at that level yet to commit to what they need to do. They're just not ready mentally. They listen to what you're saying, they understand that it's gonna work, but it's gonna take them or it's gonna take you or whoever to get your mind right to be ready for change. You have to be able to drop down your guard, leave your ego at the door and say, this is what needs to happen for me to change to begin my change, to begin a better future. This is what I need to do. And to really begin that stepping stone to change. Also like who are you hanging around with? Who are you letting influence your thoughts? Are you hanging around positive people? Or are you hanging around negative people that are always down in their dumps and they try to bring their drama and negative energy to you? You gotta think about that. Like who are you hanging around with? Who are you aligning your energy to? Is it to positive people, people who are there to motivate you, or people who just want to talk smack, drama, and just talk about bad about their lives? You want to be around people who are in the right mind state, because I guarantee it's going to help a lot more than people who are in negative mind state. They'll help push you up more versus people who are trying to hold you down and not reach your true potential because they're too scared to reach theirs. So that's mind state. So number two, this is the next stepping stone. You have to put the work in. It's simple. It's just not going to fall in your hands. You have to go out and do the dirty work for whatever you want to do. If it's losing weight, if it's, you know, maybe you're transitioning, you want to be, become a vegan or eat a healthier diet, eat a more plant-based diet, whatever it might be, get that dream job that you always wanted. Live out a childhood dream of yours to be something that you always love to be. Get that dream job, whatever it might be. Gain muscle, lose weight. The work has to be put in. So your mindset has to be right to put the work in. It has to be focused and say, this is what I need to do. If I wanna lose weight, I gotta start eating healthy, maybe look into intermittent fasting, maybe cut my calorie intake, be in a caloric deficit, cause that's the only thing that's gonna help you lose weight. Simple things, you have to be ready. Ready to put the work in, apply what your mind is ready to do. If you wanna go out and get that job that you always wanted, you gotta study, you gotta do whatever it takes to assert yourself in that position. If you wanna be an entrepreneur, you gotta Go out, really craft your niche, and apply it and see what people think. Surround yourself by positive people again and to help grow that. Build that niche, build whatever you want to build. You gotta put that work in. You just can't dream about it, you gotta put your feet on the ground and start running. Even if this baby steps at first, maybe you don't see growth automatically and or changes, just keep being persistent. That is the key word, being persistent at what you do. If you want to lose weight, I always use this one. You got to stay persistent. You got to get your workouts in and you got to eat right. You got to get your sleep in as well. But it has to stay consistent and persistent. It just has to be ongoing. It can't have major laps or breaks because you're going to see the difference in your body. Put the work in. Guarantee you'll see the results. That's work. Number three, and at the most vital step, sacrifice. This is the third step or the third pillar, this is probably the grandest, the biggest, the scariest step to take. It's sacrifice. What are you gonna do? Who are you gonna cut out of your life? What is it going to take you to be the best of you? Who are you around with? Are you around positive people or negative people? Are you willing to cut them from your life to see greater change in yours? Are you ready to cut out that junk food, cut out that, those animal products, whatever it takes to be the best you? Are you ready 
to become more plant-based and more disciplined in how you intake your food and be serious on not cheating extra hard on cheat meals or cheat days, whatever it might be. Are you ready for that? Are you ready to cut out cheat meals altogether? Because you're tired and you had it all. Are you ready to drop it? Cold turkey, vegan turkey. <laughs> Are you ready to drop it all? You gotta ask yourself these questions. Because if you're not really ready to sacrifice, maybe you watching, you know, Netflix or on the phone or on social media for X amount of hours a day and that's holding you back to achieve what you need to do say that dream job you want or you have all these ideas but you're just on social media and Netflix or whatever it might be some TV screen in front of your face are you ready to cut out the hours and just having your face drowned in that and apply it to something that's going to benefit you and those around you Sacrifice your chill times. Sacrifice going out on the weekends. Sacrifice on those things to perfect your craft. Sacrifice on cutting out the drinks. Sacrifice drinking more water instead. What are you willing to do? You know that there is something that you abuse or you tend to lean on when things are bad or you know it's not good for you but it feels great at that moment. Usually those things that are just great at the moment are not great for you that's like cheat food that's like eating out somewhere you know that's not great for you drinking excess when you know it's only really good at the moment and not afterwards any guilty pleasures if those things are affecting you and only great for that moment what do you think if you cut all that out and start refocusing on you and the things you want how much greatness you'll be feeling for a more prolonged period of time than just an instant in your life that comes to sacrifice and sacrifice is hard that's why I think it's the hardest steepest step because not a lot of people are willing to sacrifice even if the truth is in the pudding right in front of them they know they have to do that but it's hard it's a, it, it's different it's something they're not used to so they're scared of change and sacrifice is the biggest step you need to take to achieve true change it simply is how bad do you want it? That's how you get, that's the first thing you gotta ask yourself in this whole thing. How bad do you want it? How bad do you want positive change in your life? Something great to happen to you. How bad do you want it? Or do you want to be in a place where you don't like, but you're used to it and you're scared of something different? Please choose the latter. Changes happen to us daily. Our bodies are changing daily. So why can't you? Listen to it. Stop fighting yourself. Change is going to occur. If you see great people out there, people who have succeeded in things, change happened. They might have a crappy job in the begin with, but they took risks, they took chances. They're able to achieve so much more. They took a chance, they took a risk. They sacrificed something. They might have sacrificed an old job to start a new one that's going to benefit them more. They took that change the sacrifice to cut something out of their life that was so routine yet mundane for something better get out of your comfort zone be ready to take those steps get your mind right get ready to put the work in and get ready to cut out things in your life that are not going to benefit you that's what we all need to do sacrifice something that is holding you down all right guys this has been james rise hopefully you enjoyed my three pillars three steps for true change Something that I've been cooking up and in my mind this year and definitely wanted to get out to you guys. So, stay risen, stay rising, and make someone around you smile. Make yourself smile. Be the best that you could be every single day. Love you guys. Rise.